Hello, I'm Gaia Vince and welcome to my home museum. Today's object is something so commonplace that it's scarcely believable it was once one of the most valuable commodities on the planet. Wars were fought because of it, lands colonised and fortunes made. It's a spice. It's a seasoning. It's a nose tickler. It's pepper. Now we use pepper to flavour our food, but it's hardly essential to our survival. It's got no nutritional benefit. It's not even an effective preservative. And yet the quest for spices like pepper drove the European discovery of America and helped spread the global spread of, um, of Islam and, and the bubonic plague. Now, pepper was once highly desirable. Spices, though, were only desirable because of the cultural value which we arbitrarily gave them. Once that value was accepted by society, spices became beautiful. Objects of conspicuous consumption, a mark of elite status, and the first globally traded plants. The spice trade was a phenomenally important global activity, and that's because the human quest for beauty is so powerful. Beauty plays a key role in human culture. We, we use it to ascribe meaning and therefore social value to things, irrespective of their survival benefit. We value beauty. Rare, rare flavours like spices and difficult to make colours like purple and shiny things like silk and precious stones. We delight in their very uselessness. Our ancestors harnessed this innate desire, to, innate desire for beauty to lower the costs of trade, building networks that boosted cultural complexity and helped us exchange our resources, our ideas and our genes, boosting our survival. Spices were traded from the east where they grew to markets in Western Europe along the Silk Road and by sea. But by the Middle Ages, high prices, a limited supply and their mysterious eastern origins had fueled a lucrative European market for pepper, nutmeg, cloves and other spices. But with the mighty Ottoman Empire controlling all the roads to the east, spice trade had become increasingly dangerous and costly. And it was this that spurred Christopher Columbus to seek a new sea route to the east, which avoided going around the perilous southern African Cape. He would instead sail west and reach the east by circumnavigating the globe. But as we know, he soon found out that land lay in the way of this um, Atlantic Pacific Ocean route. America was discovered. On arrival in the New World, Columbus failed to find any of the uh, pepper that he'd set out for. So he made the canny PR decision to name the fleshy capsicum fruits that he saw uh, local people eating, some of which were hot in a similar way to pepper, and called them peppers. And he called another spicy berry allspice. So chili peppers and bell peppers spread quickly throughout the world. The consequences of the Colombian exchange in foods, resources, people, diseases, wealth, well, they were truly global. It changed our world. And the root cause of this planetary scale, cultural, environmental, genetic exchange was the desire for pepper. 